Let's get started. We have a range here with name, department, location, job title. And now let's create a user form where you can have a search function. Let's search this data out. Let's go to develop tab and visual basic. Now insert a user form. We can drag it out a little bit here. And now we need to insert four text boxes that should work as search boxes. So we can copy this four times. Something like this. And then put the labels on top. Uh, let's write name here. That's the first one. And we can change the settings here. Bold 10, something like that. And put it on top. The next one is department. Then we have location. And finally, status. Then we need to insert a list box where the search results should be displayed in. And then finally, we have the clear search button down here. Let's expand it a little bit. We can label this clear search. We can also change that bold and 10. And we can also change the color here, if we like, down here, and maybe change it to this and make the text white, something like that. We can run it here to see how it looks. And overall, it looks good. Then we're gonna name these variables so it's easier to code. The first one is our first search box. So let's call it TB, short for text box search one and this one we call tb search two and so on three and finally tb search four this one is a list box we're going to name it list box search result and then the command bottom here we're going to call that cp shorted for combo box clear search so now we've set it up and we are ready to code it. Before we code it, I always like to have a module here that opens the form. So we call that sub open form. And then we're gonna write user form one, which is the name of user form, dot show. Then we're gonna have a bottom here that opens the user form. like this, call it open form. Something like this. And now when you click it, it opened the form. All these elements doesn't work yet. We need to code it. And that's what we're gonna do right now. Go back to Visual Basic again. All right, the first thing I like to do is to code how the user form starts up what's get loaded into this list box and the settings of the columns and so on. Double tap here. We are in the user form. Click initialize. And now we're ready to write the code here. We're going to start using a width with LB search result. Then we need to do some column settings here and some column count. So we're gonna start with the column count, set that equal to four because we have four columns. 
then we need to set the width so we can use column width here and that should be equal let's just for now set them as 70 each like this and we don't want to have the headers so we just make the column headers equals false you could include the column headers but for now let's just leave it like this then we're gonna end with so this is the list box setup yeah and then we have the load all data and we're gonna call that with a call search yeah but we haven't built this model yet so I'm just gonna comment this out let's make the search module now so we're gonna write it below this module and call it private sub search that's a private sub within the user form and we're gonna dim double as, as worksheet we're gonna dim last row as long we're gonna dim i as long then we're gonna dim show all as boolean Then we're gonna set WS as this workbook the sheets and name it sheet one. That's our sheet name. You can name it whatever the sheet name is. Then we're gonna define the last row, which is last row equal WS dot cells WS rows count. From column A dot end Excel up dot row. Then we make a clear here, clear the list box, and we're gonna do that with LB search result dot clear. Then we have a determine if we should show all and this makes sense in a bit and for this part I just copy paste this code in it's gonna loop through two to last row that we defined in our data set and if show all is true or this line that means if all the search boxes are empty we just show everything in the list but if any of the boxes have something typed in, then it goes into the next part. It checks each column one by one like this. The first one here, second one here, oops, second one here, third one here, fourth one here. All these conditions are joined with and here. So the row has to match all of the boxes that are not empty. If a row passes that test, then we add it to the list box like this here. This just means add a new row to the list box and fill in the values from column A to D. And that's it. That's how the search filtering works. So let's go back to the user form here. And now we double tap on the user form again and we comment this out because now we can actually call the search and that was, a, was the reason why I wrote this with small letters. You can see the system, the computer recognizes this because we have this search module here, this private sub search. So now it should be working. Open the form here and you can see it's working. At least it's loading. There's something with the column settings here. It should be under each box, but let us fix this at the end. Let's just get the functionality 
working. So if we search for Emma, for example, nothing shows up. We need to fix that. And since we have this search functionality here, we simply just need to call that in each box here. So we call search here. Let us just copy this. And then we'll copy it to this, copy it to this, and copy it to the fourth search criteria. Now it should be working. So it get loaded here. Emma, she's in uh, finance, and she's in LA here. And she's an uh, analyst. Nothing comes up if we search something. We can make it right here at the end, uh, search results on the phone. All right. Then we need to adjust the column so it looks better. But before that, we need to write the code to clear the search because right now nothing happens. Let's search uh, Mia, marketing, whatever. Search, clear, clear search, nothing happens. So let's stop tab on that and start coding the clear button. And that's a pretty simple code. We write tp search one dot text equals blank. And then copy this like this and change it to two, three, four, referencing each text box. And then we're gonna call the search again because we need to have the search appear again. So now it should be working. Let's have a look here. Luca. Miami. Clear. And now it clears. Okay, we're almost there. Let's adjust the columns here. Maybe making these text boxes a little bit smaller, 65 maybe. And then move them a little bit closer together. Let's run it one more time. Yeah, it looks a little bit better, but we're still not there yet. Let's make them even smaller, 60. So this is how you make a user form where you can search on different things. We have a search for Sophia here, working in IT, and comes from Chicago, and is an analyst. And we clear it here. So this is how you make a simple user form with a list box and a search functionality between four text boxes. I hope you liked this video. If you do, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe. My name is Jacob. And I make Excel VBA automation videos and other types of automation systems and teach you how to automate your task, particularly using Excel. So give me a subscribe because I plan to make more step-by-step -step tutorials like this and share my content to a coworker or a friend that can help them out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Send me a message on TikTok or Instagram links in the description. I'm open to make content from your input and your comments. So let me know how I can improve and what type of videos you want to see more of. And then I will see you in the next video.